हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज पीयूष वर्मा एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंफोटेनमेंट चैनल दिस इज माय फर्स्ट लेक्चर एंड टुडे आई विल फोकस अपॉन रेशियो एंड प्रोपोर्शन इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड देम क्लियरली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल हैव अ लुक अपॉन व्हाट इज रेशियो एंड व्हाट इज प्रोपोर्शन to understand more clearly let us take a example of a ratio i am saying i am having two person person a and person b and they are having rupees 20 and rupees 70 respectively then what will be the ratio of a is to b in order to find the ratio of a is to b just simply write the quantity a is having in the rhs of a 20 and the quantity b is having in the rhs of b it is 70 just simplify it 2 tens are 20 2 sevens are 70 the ratio of a to b comes out to be 2 upon 7 there is another method of writing ratio by putting a colon between the quantities in order to find the ratio of a is to b we will do the ratio of a is to b comes out to be 2 to 7 just write 2 here and the 7 here this is the ratio of a is to b in order to find the ratio of b is to a just simply write the quantity of b in the numerator and the quantity of a in the denominator and just simplify it the ratio of b is to a comes out to be 7 is to 2 moving on to a very simple problem if i am saying a father wants to distribute among his two children rupees 100 in the ratio of 3 is to 7 then find the share of individual child in order to solve this kind of problem first of all make a pie chart it is given father wants to distribute among his students among his children three part to a and seven part to b from whole it 10 so divide the pie chart into 10 parts and a is having three parts out of 10 and b is having seven parts out of 10 in order to find individual ratio we divide the part of a to find the ratio of a we divide the part of a by the total part it is 10 and how much amount we want to distribute among them is 100 Then it's rupees thirty. It is the share of A. In order to find the share of B, write the B part upon total part, and the amount to be distributed among them is rupees hundred. Just simplify it. It is rupees seventy. This is the part of B. Now moving on to the proportion part. the word proportion means the same as if i am writing a is to b is in proportion to c is to d then how will i write i will put two colon in between a is to b and c is to d this means the same as the proportion means if the ratio of a is to b comes out to be 1 is to 2 and if a is to b is in proportion with c is to d then the ratio of c is to d should also be equals to 1 is to 2 in order to solve the question of proportion we are having a formula product of extreme should be equals to product of mean now what are these terms extreme and mean to understand them let's take example a is to b is in proportion with c is to d then the places a and d are known as extreme position and the position b and c are known as 
mean position. Then by the formula, product of extreme should be equal to product of mean. We conclude that A into D should be equals to B into C. This is the general formula to solve any problem based on proportion. Now, let's take an example of proportion. If I am having A is to B is in proportion with C is to D, where the value of A is to B is 3 is to 2 and it is proportion with C is to D. Here C is missing, it is given X is to 4. Then how to find? Just simply write the formula, product of extreme should be equals to product of mean. Here are the mean position is the 2 and the X. Now just simplify and find the value of X. 2 to the 4 x comes out to be 6. This was a very simple question. Now moving on to a slightly tricky question. If it is given a is to b is to c, here are only three things and they are in proportion with each other and you are having only the value of 2. a is given 5, b is given 7 and c is not given, let us say x. Now you have to find the value of x. How will you do it? It is a very simple and tricky question. Evaluate like this. Separate a and b first and b and c first. Value of a and b is 5 is to 7 and the value of b is to c is 7 is to x. Now the equation becomes a is to b is in proportion with b is to c. See these are the extreme position, these are the mean position. Move on further, simply product of extreme should be equals to product of mean. The extreme position are 5 and x and the mean position is 7 into 7. The value of x comes out to be 7 into 7 upon 5, it comes out to be 49 upon 5. If you like the matter appropriate, please like my videos and hit on the subscribe button. Thank you.